Hi ladies, my name is Michelle Hodge and I've created Wealthy Confident Lady to inspire you to choose beauty and skincare products that are natural, organic, and vegan. My channel promotes cleaner, cruelty-free, and healthier skincare products. I feature products from brands that are choosing to offer us healthier options. This week's makeup look is what I call my electric blue cat eye. I'm beginning by priming my eyes with the lightest shade in the Shea Moisture Perfecting Face Cream Trio. To tight line my eyes, I've decided to use the black shade from the Honest Beauty Truly Enticing Smoky Gray Eyeshadow Trio. After tight lining with black eyeshadow, I'm intensifying my lining with black liquid eyeliner. I've chosen Mineral Fusion's liquid eyeliner in the color Ebony. I find that this liquid eyeliner dries very quickly. I feel like another coat of liner is needed so I'm choosing to add more of the Honest Beauty Black Eyeshadow to ensure that the rim of my eyes are darkened as much as possible. And I'm adding right above the black eyeliner a beautiful blue shade using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This color is called Electric and it's one of their vegan eyeliner colors. I'm tight lining again but with liquid eyeliner. But what I realized later on though was that tight lining with this liquid eyeliner caused my mascara to clump a bit more than usual. Something to keep in mind. And I'm using the same Honest Beauty Black eyeshadow on my lower rims and smudging to create a smoky effect. I'm thinking now that a black eye pencil is best for lining the eyes. But if you choose to use shadow on a brush like I've done for this makeup look, just remember to tap the excess shadow off of the brush before applying the color to your eye. This way you don't get any black shadow in your eyes or black shadow all over your face. And now I'm creating a very tiny cat eye. I call it my kitten eye because it's kind of like a baby cat eye look. Personally, I don't care for how more dramatic cat eyes look on me, but this subtle cat eye I think is pretty. I know that's a pretty messy right cat eye wing. I probably should have decided to start over, but instead I'm working with it. Just cleaning up a bit with the Q-tip dipped in makeup remover. Urban Decay calls its 24-7 eye pencil vegan because it's cruelty free and contains no animal parts and no animal byproducts. I'm trying my best to get the corners looking connected, going back in again with that black shadow. A little too much tugging on the eye. This is Tarte's Gifted Mascara. I really like how this mascara looks on my eyes. It's paraben free, contains no mineral oil, phthalates or gluten. It glides on really smoothly. And for the most part, it has minimal clumping, which I really, really like. You'll want to use a dry Q-tip to wipe away any mascara mistakes from around your eyes. 
and I'm adding this very pretty glittery eyeshadow from Urban Decay on top of Pacifica's cream eyeshadow. Pacifica's cream eyeshadow does crease, but I think the finished look is still pretty. I'm adding more of Pacifica's cream shadow to my brow bone to highlight that area. And placing Space Cowboy in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm using Shea Moisture's Perfecting Face Cream Trio for my concealer. This time I'm using my fingers to apply the concealer. I think next time I'll use a brush to see if the coverage is even better. I do prefer powder contour and blush over a cream, but this time I'm going to go ahead and apply the cream contour and again use my fingers. I really like Dr. Hauschka's translucent press powder and also this very pretty blush called Harmony by Mineral Fusion. Gabriel Cosmetics Seashell is an awesome new lipstick. It's not chalky and I like that. I'm also adding Pacifica's Lip Shine in Opal. and a bit of Space Cowboy on my lips for that extra pizzazz. Groomed my brows. Used the Space Cowboy shadow as my highlighter. So two of my more immediate goals for my YouTube channel is that I'm working really hard right now to clear up my acne prone skin and I'd also like to work towards showcasing more beautiful background and backdrops for my videos. I'll also be doing natural hair tutorials. This is only the beginning for the journey of Wealthy Confident Lady. I hope you'll subscribe, follow and watch my videos over time. I'll be posting at least one video a week, usually towards the beginning of each week. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So, that's it. This is the finished look. Help a Brooklyn girl out, please. And please subscribe. Thanks, ladies.